Hello everyone, this is Avrila Mukherjee, your own teacher, researcher and friend. So, we together research, discuss the texts on reading comprehension, English and other cultures. So, uh, today we talk about a very important text that is what is popular culture. So, as the term suggests, popular is somewhere related to the population, the uh, people. So, the culture that uh, actually majority of the people are the mass follow so let us discuss the john Stuart's text what is popular culture so it's a cultural theory and uh, popular culture it uh, it uh, talk, uh, which was actually published on 2001 and we talk about the text so before we consider in detail the different ways in which popular culture has been defined and analyzed so there are different ways in popular culture is defined there are all uh, concepts where we find differentiation in the uh, definition itself for example if you ask that what are the human qualities what is a proper human and what should be the ideal concepts of humanity so you would find different concepts different definitions there so each and every concept as the conceptual people think that there must be a number of definitions so i want to outline some of the general features uh, of the debate which the study of popular culture has generated so uh, at the introduction the John, the writer, the author of this text is trying to give some general ideas about the debate uh, where the study of popular culture uh, has actually generated all uh, the debates that caused by the uh, popular culture. So it is not my intention to pre-exempt uh, pre the specific findings and uh, arguments which will be presented in the following chapters. Here, I simply wish to map out the general conceptual landscape of popular culture. This is in many ways a daunting task. As Tony Bennett points out, as it stands, the concept of popular culture is virtually useless. So, uh, there is uh, Tony Bennett who points out that uh, the concept of popular culture is uh, virtually useless, a melting pot of confused and contradictory meanings capable of misdirecting inquiry of and number of theoretically uh, blind allies. So the thing is that uh, uh, we find the point of view of Tony Bennett. Now melting pot theory you can find and study by yourself. That's a task for you. Part of the difficulty stems from the implied otherness which is always absent or present when we use the term popular culture the, so uh, the part of the difficulty seems from uh, stems from uh, the implied otherness so there is a concept there is some implication of otherness which is either always present in the term popular culture or sometimes also absent in the term popular culture so there is a difficulty stem difficult stem what is the meaning of stem stem means something that holds a very important uh, part as we shall see in the chapters which follow popular culture is always defined implicitly or explicitly in contrast to other conceptual categories for example folk culture mass culture dominant culture working class culture etc so you have folk culture mass culture dominant culture working class culture but uh, as we shall see in the chapters which follow popular culture uh, is always defined either implicitly or explicitly in contrast to these cultures a full definition must always take this into account moreover as we shall also see whichever conceptual category is deployed as popular cultures absent or present other it will always powerfully affect the uh, connotations brought into play when we use the term popular culture therefore to study popular culture we must first confront the difficulty posed by the term itself
there is uh, depending on how it is used quite different areas of inquiry and forms of theoretical uh, definition and analytical focus are suggested the main argument which i suspect uh, readers will take from this book is that popular culture is in effect an empty conceptual category one which can be filled in a wide variety of often conflicting ways depending on the context of use so uh, at the very beginning uh, the writer is saying that the term popular culture is somewhere empty and it is situational it is dependent of different other terms other concepts by contrast by similarities and the way it is represented now first uh, uh, the author is trying to talk about what is culture now it's the first lecture on popular culture so uh, you also understand that it would not be possible to complete the entire text today but definitely we try to complete the text in the next few classes in order to define popular culture we first need to define the term culture what is culture if you don't know what is culture then the folk culture any culture the terms are somewhere abstract and the the culture the term itself is abstract concept so first try to understand what is culture then we jump into folk culture popular culture mass culture all these cultures so raymond williams calls culture one of the two or three most complicated words because these words actually do not have any meaning these words are abstract right so the concepts are abstract the concepts are uh, situational the concepts are uh, time uh, framed so we, there is no defined timeline for culture right most complicated word so culture is a complicated word so there are, if there are two three words we have to say that uh, the culture is one of them which are uh, categorized as the most complicated word because it cannot be defined very easily in the english language so raymond williams says uh, this william suggests uh, three broad definitions first of all culture can be used to refer to a general process of intellectual spiritual and aesthetic development so a uh, culture is a process of intellectual spiritual and aesthetic development now try to understand it's a practice it's a process of development what is the process of development process of development is a time framed practice when we are practicing intellectual things spiritual things and aesthetic aesthetic things together or separately they come to be called as culture we could for example speak about the cultural development of western europe and be referring only to intellectual spiritual and aesthetic factors great philosophers great artists and great poets so by the normal use of the term culture we only think about the big things the poetry the dress the music all these things the paintings the philosophies the writings the books the novels the poems all these things this would be a perfectly understandable formulation a second use of the word culture might be to suggest a particular way of life whether of a people a period or a group so the way of life how people live is also culture if they prefer to eat fish if they prefer to wear the leaves of the tree that is also culture using this definition if we speak of the cultural development of western europe so here we are focusing on a particular uh, place for giving the example so first uh, we talked about how the spiritual development the intellectual development and aesthetic development of the europe and uh, referring only to the intellectual spiritual and aesthetic factors that the great philosophers and great artists and great poets over they contributed so that's the biggest uh, uh, i uh, outcomes of the age but 
what about the life of the people that comes into the second example so if we speak about the cultural development of the western people we would have in mind not just intellectual and aesthetic factors but the development of literacy holidays sports religious festivals so the people practices are also called culture how the holidays are enjoyed how the literacy is performed how the sports are played in different places of the world these are also part of culture religious practices finally william suggests that culture can be used to refer to the works and practices of intellectual and especially artistic activity now there are certain filters that william raymond is trying to give in front of the word the term culture he first uh, talked about the development of different aesthetic different intellectual and spiritual things then he talked about the culture of the people the culture of sport the culture of holiday the culture of uh, religious festivals and also the way they are uh, literacy plays role now he again talks about the artistic uh, for the production of the age in other words those texts and practices whose principal function is to signify to produce or to be the occasion for the production of meaning culture in the third definition is synonymous with what structuralist and post structuralist call signifying practices so simply culture actually we can say our practices but there are other dimensions which we, uh, we find in different uh, definitions of culture using this definition we would probably think of examples such as poetry the novel the uh, valet the opera the fine art to speak of popular culture usually means to mobilize the second third meaning of the word culture the second meaning culture as a particular way of life would allow us to speak of such practices as the uh, seaside holiday the celebration of the christmas and the youth or uh, subcultures different age group has different culture so if you divide culture in sub categories we would find overlapping things the youth culture the age group of uh, 80s the old age culture th these are different as examples of culture these are usually referred to as lived cultures or cultural practices the third meaning culture as signifying practices would allow us to speak of soap opera pop music and comics as examples of culture these are usually referred to as cultural texts i am reading here right i am trying to explain here now the last line for today's class and uh, from the next class we talk about ideology in culture popular culture not only culture so we are talking about a very important cultural study chapter module that's popular culture my name is avila mukherjee you listen to my lectures subscribe my youtube channel avila mukherjee connect with me on facebook instagram everywhere i am your own friend to talk discuss research now the last line few people would imagine williams first definition when thinking about popular culture so there are three different definitions but the first definition again come back to the first definition where he is talking about to general process of intellectual spiritual and aesthetic development so these are some who are generally taken as the popular culture how these developments take place in a society thank you so much Bye bye meet you in the next video namaskar